What's a reality no parent wants to face? A Hickson mother is preparing to bury her son while her daughter fights for her life in the hospital after a horrible crash yesterday morning. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sprato spoke to her tonight and shares her story. As you know, losing someone is never easy, but to lose a child, Cassie Wolf says, is something she never thought she'd have to face. Now she's trying to figure out how to stay strong when all she says she wants to do is fall apart. You, you just can't imagine until it, until it happens. There's, there's no way you can imagine what it's like. Little did Cassie Wolf know that Monday morning would be the last time she saw her son alive. 15 year old Michael Wolf died in a car crash that morning. My brother in law just so happened to have drove by there and he told me that um, the kids were down the street that the paramedics were working on them. Police say Michael and his 17-year-old sister Jenny were in this pickup truck when the 17-year-old driver lost control on Adams Road. The truck flipped several times before hitting a tree. They say all three teens were thrown out of the car. Michael didn't make it. The impact of the crash caused Jenny's main artery to sever. Doctors say for now they've been able to stop the bleeding, but she still remains critical. It wasn't real. It just didn't seem like it was real. I mean, I just seen him earlier that morning and he was in the living room and it just didn't feel real. It was tough news to hear for classmates at Hickson High School. A few of the students that were really close didn't come to school today and we certainly understand that. And then uh, some of the students that learned it that had been close uh, to them took it kind of hard. And uh, when a teacher recognized that or we recognized that in the office, we paired them up with a counselor. But Wolf says she has a tough road ahead. Jenny still doesn't know her brother is gone. It's going to hit her hard. I'm hoping that she she learns from this about jumping in the car with people, you know, that she's she's not familiar with and and, and more responsible. Police say the other 17-year-old driver only suffered minor injuries and say charges are pending. Meanwhile, Cassie Wolf says doctors remain optimistic about Jenny's recovery. Alyssa Sparato, News Channel 9.